To play or not to play with high school playoff soccer games getting underway tonight, the Spanish Fort High School girls soccer team is caught in the middle of an eligibility scandal. An 11th hour appeal has been denied. In an about face late Thursday, school superintendent Eddie Tyler and the high school's principal appealed the high school athletic association's decision not to abide by a court order allowing the girls to play ball. NBC 15's James Gordon has been in touch with school officials. He joins us with more tonight, James. We know that appeal letter went out yesterday. The superintendent appears to have had a change of heart after earlier this week he sided with the association to disqualify both the girls and the boys soccer teams. The parents and the student athletes are not commenting publicly. The superintendent in a message to parents yesterday said, I wanted to reach out and let you know that early this morning we re-engage our legal counsel to file another appeal with the Alabama High School Athletic Association. He added, I do not know what their decision will be, but I will continue pressing to do what is right for our students. As a former coach and parent, I am heartbroken over the association's decision. In the letter, interim high school principal Shannon Smith and Tyler make it clear that the girls' soccer team should be reinstated and allowed to play. The entire Spanish Fort girls' soccer team, which earned the playoff spot, was sidelined because one of its athletes is a sibling to a team member deemed ineligible to play on the boys' soccer team. Both teams are now out of the playoffs, even though a judge ruled that they could play. So tonight, the waiting game, not the soccer game continues and that waiting game is over they just learned that they will not be playing but you know these the attorneys for the parents who filed the original lawsuit against the athletic association say it's possible that the association could face sanctions now whether or not they will pursue those sanctions they did not say now we're live in Baldwin County James Gordon NBC 15 News